Welcome to Curry Girl's Kitchen. I'm Megan Curry and this is my lovely mother Peggy. And today we are making one of our new favorite clean pumpkin red lentil soup. So it's a fabulous way to actually use those fall pumpkins, Meg. Whatever they are. Winter pumpkins. Winter pumpkins. We are in the middle of winter. So what you're seeing Peg do right now, she's cutting up one of these very large Cinderella pumpkins. Yeah. And this is what we're gonna be using, really, it's the main part of the soup. So if you don't have a pumpkin, you can also use canned pumpkin. But you can use, there's so many varieties of pumpkins and squash. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got butternut squash there. We've got delicate, we'll show them the butternut. So this is all. Butternut squash. This butternut squash. And we got a delicata squash. So you can actually use any kind of squash in this recipe. It doesn't a matter. A hardy squash. Yeah, a winter. A uh, winter yeah. squash. Yes. Hardy, hard. Hard. Do you notice this is hard? Yes, very well, hard. Some people get really intimidated by this, Megan, because it is so difficult to sometimes peel them. But you can use your knife to peel. You can also get a great peeler, like you know the potato peelers that we have. There's a normal peeler and another peeler. Anyway, you can just use these. Whichever one, you know, works for you. Whatever you find easiest. I like the Always knife. up to you. We definitely prefer the knife. We find it a lot easier. Because especially with the grooves. So what we have is about four cups of of the pumpkin the squash. Pumpkin. And what's wonderful is everything's rough chopped for this soup. We're just gonna throw it all in. So here we have some rough chopped onions. This is mm -hmm. two cups, but it's gonna be roughly, it's gonna be closer to three cups when you do um, all of the onions. And all I'm gonna do, thank you for the knife, is cut it into and Thirds. then you cut it into thirds. Cut it again. And a half. Big That's chunks. Whoop, coming out of there. In they go. Right. So, Meg, so here's red onion. Yes. But red we onion. can also use a brown onion or a yellow onion. We just want to use a sweet onion. Yeah, because that'll sweeten it beautifully. Yes. And then we have whole garlic cloves. And I always find to just kind of release them, you can just kind of. You want to smash them? Smashed. Like my mom's doing, and she's just smashing them. I love smashing And them. this is just releasing the flavor, but you don't need to chop them up fine. You can use about four to, I have, I think, around six. We love garlic. Ta Putting them in. And then we have ginger. So with ginger root, it says, we say about two tablespoons, but I don't measure it out. I more so do, like, two tablespoons of, like, knuckles. We'll make, like, little marks on the ginger, what I just want to grate it down to. And this is a microplane. I'm just freshly grating it. And so, Meg, you're not peeling it, and that is perfectly fine. Yeah. I mean, this skin... Well, there's skin, actually a benefit in the skin. Yeah, we like and using oops. it all. And especially with the winter, ginger is so good. It's warming. It's, it's very good for your lungs, especially with all those colds and flus that kind of attack our lungs. So this is actually a wonderful, nourishing, and beneficial soup. Yes. So I have about two tablespoons in here as you can see but I'm not putting this in yet this goes oh. in at the very end oh fantastic and then we are gonna put in the red lentils so what we have is a cup and a half of red lentils but Peg's is gonna rinse them off real quick you want to always rinse them and you want to rinse them off because when grains and lentils when they're packaged they have um, preserver so stuff the bugs don't get in them so you just want to make sure you rinse them off before you put them in another reason why Megs is that sometimes the pulses they come with stones and we don't want to get a stone in our soup yeah that would hurt to chew on it yeah. so this is it everything is in here I'm gonna put a little pinch of salt to taste because we can flavor it too after it's all done right definitely and then don't forget to shake the liquids, you can either use water, but to just give it even more flavor, we're using organic, no chicken. So it's a vegetarian broth. chicken broth that um, Imagine makes. It's a fabulous one. You really can also delicious. use your homemade vegetable broth. Yes, we definitely, we have a video that we've posted earlier to show you how to make 
chicken broth and it mm -hmm. is so wonderful to have on hand during the winter. Exactly, and then if you also have vegetable broth or just a, another little package of chicken broth. One thing to make this, to keep this clean, a lot of veggie broths have a tomato base and that can really change the flavor of this soup. So just make sure that you're finding a vegetarian or vegetable broth that doesn't have tomatoes, tomatoes. or canola oil because canola yes. oil isn't clean. Yes, and this is clean. That's right. <laughs> so we're just gonna put one. How many of these are we putting in, Meg? I'm making a muscle over here. About two. Is it two, two and a half, or one and a half? So like six cups. It's one and a half. Because yeah. one of these is four Roughly cups. six cups. Okay. Because then what you do, the very last liquid that you put in, is the can of coconut milk. Put it yeah. in, and then you can just stir it on up. Oh, we have, this is perfect. It all just wow. fits. Here, can you see this? Can everyone see this? Yep. All right, I love this. A one pot, and now we're just going to stick it right on the flame. Yep, put it on. Fantastic. Heavenly. <gasps>